Welcome back everybody, it's Kree Rama from Junk Journal Divas. Hello everybody, I am here today. I wanna to show you my paper packs I've been working on. Um, I only have two of each right now because they're, they're very time consuming. So um, there are 24 papers. So there's two of the blues, greens, and there's a little bit of yellow and two of the pink and orange purples. Okay, and then, so 20 papers, and then each one has three embossed paper. I'm gonna put this pack aside, and we'll take a look at these first. So we've got our three embossed papers here. This is watercolor paper, so it is the um, very, you know, heavy paper weight. I have the one that I didn't do anything to, then I have this one. This is some gold paint on top of it, distressed paint. This one I just put a little bit of ink on. So those are the embossed papers. And then let's look at these. So these are all hand dyed and they are all 28 pound paper. Almost have this like a velvety, I don't know, I just, I love the texture of them. So let me show you first these darker blue ones. The one thing about these paper packs is I did a lot of mica powder, so it's going to be kind of hard to get some of this in the camera with the lighting and stuff. So hopefully I can do a good job here. But you can see just as is, these papers are really gorgeous. Um, but I did, so there's some layers, you know, in the base here, the bottom part, and on both sides of these, I did, let me hold this up, I did a tonal uh, script stamp, and then I did some leaves here. I just like the contrasting colors, and we've got the mica powder. This, I use Perfect Pearls here. So that is the darker blue color here. I have some of these painty papers. These are just a mixture of all different colors here. Again, just fun papers to mix up. I didn't do anything else to these. I wanted to leave some plain so that um, you can kind of have ideas from the stuff that I did and gear it more towards, you know, when you put your papers together for your journals or whatever you're using papers for. And then these are some eco printed papers. And I did a little bit of this stamp, stamping on it. So you can see here, I did a little bit of stamping and then you can also see the eco print. These pages, I did some eco print with my embossing machine. So you can see a faint outline of a leaf here and some mica um, paint that kind of splattered on. You can see the leaf on this side. And this is another one. You can see the leaf patterns here. And there's another one. Aren't these colors just so pretty together? These, these are my favorite colors to work with. I love them. And so this time of year, I have some of my bushes are turning purple and that's what this is. That is the color from the bush, from the leaves. These I just did some splatters on. Then we're coming to the greens. Now these are my eco dyed papers. See the yellows and the greens there. And here's another one. And this is my hosta leaves here. Those were great to work with. The one on the back. Then we're coming to the yellow pages. This is Perfect Pearls. So we just have a little bit of shimmer and cost contrasting colors here. Did with some stencils. And then there's another eco print on the yellow with the purple. Another one here. And it was kind of cool because the color or the print actually went through to the back. 
when I did these. It was kind of messy though, I will say, because <laughs> uh, you get a lot of leaf juice that comes out into your machine. What I did here is I folded the pages in half to go through my machine, but then afterwards I actually ironed them because it was kind of driving me nuts. I wanted them to be really flat. So I went over this side, for example, I went over with my mica powder watercolor paint. And the last one here. Look how well that one turned out. Got the yellows, the greens, different shades of blue here. My painty papers, and then the darker blue, and our embossed images. So that's the blue pack. On to this pack here. Let me show you the embossed images. So these two, I did some gold paint on. And this one, the back is plain, but this is another, if you wanted the darker purple, look how beautiful this color is. But I just left this um, so you could go over it. If you wanted to even do silver on this, would really make it pop or white paint or something. And of course the flowers and again these are watercolor paper so it's very thick and then this one I just left as is this is the uh, Tim Holtz the 3d embossing folder that looks like a doily so those are the embossed papers then to start here I have my avocado dyed paper and this has a little bit of gold and this is some pink mica powder that was kind of splattered in there. So there's a little bit of shimmer. And then I did that script stamp that I did in the other one, a tonal. And this one, I don't know if you can see, has the mica powder on it. Or perfect pearls, I mean. So I've got some of those. This one you can kind of see that those gold I can move it around if you can see the shimmer. So I've got those papers. Moving on to the pinks here. You can see I did the eco dye. There's some gold. It's a nice one with the gold. It's had some cool markings on it. I did a tonal um, stamp here, like a leaf stamp. Um, these were my favorite. It's funny because orange has never been a favorite color of mine, but when I did my eco dye, and I've got some back here to show you, it was my favorite color the way that it turned out. I absolutely loved the colors together. So on these, again, this is multiple layers of the orange dye to get this kind of this effect, different layers here. And then I did the the leaf stamp with the perfect pearls on the edges here. So you can see those. And then on some of them, I tried, I did some different colors. I used some stencils here. And here's another one. It's like the copper color. Here's one that I did the leaf on. Here's another one with the leaf print and the purple. And here are my eco dye pages. And I mean, these colors, they just turned out so beautiful. Love them. So this is the eco dye and they do have prints on both sides, of course. And I put two of this sort of purple, I don't know, magenta, fuchsia. These are my eco dye papers. And when I did these, and that is the boiling and, you know, the whole process. And then these lavender purple color. And I love this one. 
the way this turned out with those little sprigs. So this is the purples, oranges, the pinks that we have here, and the embossing papers, embossed papers. So these will be in my shop. And if anybody has any suggestions of a paper pack that you would like to see, please let me know. I enjoy making them so much and thank you for watching.